Uh, draft segments are undefeated. They're always fun. They're always exciting. But let's test that theory. This one could get dicey. Now, we've been doing drafts recently. Drafts as the four hosts go around and around, and we draft NFL players throughout history for the most exciting player, the fastest player, the most likable player. And then we come up with a team, and at the end, you guys can judge who has the best team. Guys, this one's interesting. We have decided today to have a little fun and draft the clutchest players in NFL history. That word, clutch, what exactly does it mean? It's a little hard to define in football. Basketball, you know what it is, golf, baseball. In football, in this team sport, this could get a little vague, and it's up to the four of us to define it. So here's the deal. We will do three rounds. The draft will snake back and forth. You'll have 20 seconds per pick. Yesterday, we did a draft of the, I think it was the most exciting NFL players of all time. Uh, Will went first, took Randy Moss, and we had Barry Sanders, Dan Sanders, Devin Hester. I went last in yesterday's draft, so I will go first today, okay? It's going to go myself, Peter, Sean, Will, and then snake back around. Once again, everybody home, we're drafting the clutchest players in NFL history. I have to be clutch myself because I am on the clock. Here we go. Clutch draft. Number one overall pick. This is a pretty big honor. Who is the clutchest player in NFL history? Ladies and gentlemen, please lace up your L.A. gear street hikers because this one is easy. Joe Montana, the number one overall pick, four Super Bowls, four wins, zero interceptions in those four Super Bowls. Montana is off the board. Peter Strager, you have pick number two. Yeah, I would have taken Montana first overall as well, but second overall, I can't go wrong. It's a guy who grew up idolizing Joe Montana out there in the Bay and has only gone on to win the most Super Bowl rings as a quarterback and the most Super Bowl rings of a player ever. In a big spot, in a big moment, I'm taking Tom Brady second overall and I feel just fine with that. Okay. Pretty chalk. Wow. Okay, we're going quarterbacks here, boys. Look, I love it. Montana never lost a Super Bowl. Tom Brady's got a lot of them. But he also, he also lost a couple of them, right? I'm going to hold up something right here, and this might give my Ooh. answer. Oh, do it, Sean. Do it. Do it. it says this. Yeah. Super yeah, Bowl. Sean. Give me Eli Manning. Yes, you are, Undefeated Johnny. in Super Bowls. Took down Tom Brady. I'm going with Eli. Give me number 10. It's <laughs> a great pick. All right. For me, I'm going to go John Elway. Who could forget what happened with mm. the Drive and the Brown? So he is going to be my pick there. And so I'm going to wrap up that first round. Now can we go to the second round? And so who I'm yep. going to pick is one Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is who yep. I have. Just look at his numbers for what he did for the Raiders was ridiculous. So I'm going with Jerry Rice too. Okay. Uh, I like the Rice pick up there. All right. I'm going to go with a defensive player here. And this guy, all he's wow. done is just lead the NFL in – career sacks, 200 sacks. Give me Bruce Smith. Look, I know he doesn't have a Super okay. Bowl ring with Buffalo Bills. He, he went over four, but that wasn't his okay. fault. Anybody remember Super Bowl 25? He had a, he had he tackled Jeff Hosseller in the end zone for a safety to put them up 12 to three. Bruce Smith, give me him all day long, all night long. The left tackles did not want to see him no matter where he was lined up. All right, Peter, what do you got? Fifth clutchest player of all time and you're taking a guy who's never won the chip interesting sean but that's why we did the draft <laughs> uh i'm gonna go with bark star bark star was nine and one in the postseason over his career he won two super bowls the first two and he won three nfl championships the lombardi packers bark star always a winner always there and if it wasn't for the super bowl starting in 67 he would have five rings bark star my second overall pick Peter, I like that pick a lot. We are ending the second round here. And I would encourage everyone to remember, it's not the best NFL players ever. It is specifically making big plays and big moments above and beyond the rest of your competition, which is why I'm not choosing offense here. I'm not choosing defense here. Give me Adam Vinatieri. I want Adam Vinatieri yeah, undrafted. Yeah. Multiple Super Bowl rings, still kicking in Kurt Warner's nightmares as he watches us at home doing jazzercise in his home gym. Adam Vinatieri joins Joe Montana and my team, and now we start the third. Remember, you only have one pick left. Think clutch, and I'm going to stay close to home. My final pick for the clutch NFL players draft is someone who's not the most physically gifted, someone who's not the fastest, but man, if it is third and 10 in a big game, you need 11 yards, he will get it for you. Julian Edelman. I want Edelman. Nice. I have Edelman mm. and Vinatieri. Okay, both nice. Huge moments. 
Good. Correcting that castle for Tom Brady. That's my team. Montana, Vinatieri, Edelman. Peter, who's your final pick? This is so good. I, I, I'm debating. There's a defensive player from those Patriots teams that just seem to always make a big play that happens to be a colleague of ours. And yet, I got to go somewhat chalk here. I'm going Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman, three for three in Super Bowls, always found a way in the NFC Championship games to get his team over the hump. The just what Sean was saying about going to those games and winning those games. Eli did it. Aikman did it. I'm going Troy Aikman to round out my team. It's a good team, Peter. All right, let's stick with the Cowboys right there. You're going triplets here. I'm, I'm not going to go Emmett Smith. I'm going to go Michael Irvin. Give me the playmaker. When mm. you, you get a nickname like mm. the playmaker, no doubt about it, they're going to you with the game on the line when they need something big to happen. I see your Jerry Rice, uh, my man Will Silva, and I raise you a Michael Irvin. All right, for my pick, Mr. Irrelevant. Mile high salute, baby. Somebody who we have worked with Terrell Davis. 12 touchdowns, 1140 yards on the ground. When it came to being clutch in the postseason, TD was it, Hall of Famer. He is who I'm riding with. Mile high salute, my friends. All right, guys, that's the picks. We are all in, a lot of players not picked. Ben Roethlisberger to Santonio Holmes, the back of the end zone, not selected. Peter Strager, break down the board and comment on Sean O'Hara's senior high school portrait that he has there. He looks great there. Sean, <laughs> you got to update the photo. You look you look 10 years younger oh. now. Um, Kyle, <laughs> Minitieri and Edelman. I was going to take... I was going to take Willie McGinnis also. It seems like there were so many Patriots because yeah. of all the dominance that they had. Um, I got to tell you, I took Aikman, but if Edelman was on the board, I might have been going either Edelman or Gronk or Willie McGinnis as well. Will, what do you think of your team, Elway, Rice, and TD? I like those guys, what they did in the postseason, the numbers that they put up. I feel really good about my team. Uh, it's interesting that I thought that maybe Sean would go with John Elway, but no, we went with this guy, Eli. Yeah, I think Eli was the easiest choice uh, out of my three selections. I, too, liked Vinatieri, KB, so I, I was tempted to go with him. And I like – Willie Mack had four and a half sacks in one playoff game. So I wanted to go with my Irish twin, Willie yeah. McGinnis. But uh, Bruce Smith, uh, when you look at what he did, 13 seasons of 10-plus sacks. So I wasn't just going for just the Super Bowl aspect of it. Like, I mean, he, he was clutch year in and year out. You know what's funny is it when you really embrace the word and the concept of clutch, I'm not kidding, guys. I was thinking of taking Vinatieri with the first overall pick. I mean, you take him in that no game, sure. No, in the AFC title. I was thinking of going number one, and I was just thrilled that he fell to me with the, sec the second round last pick. So here's what's fascinating. We're going to take this right now. We're going to put it on Instagram. We're going to put it on Twitter. And we'll see what the people think because some of these teams, like Sean has – uh, all these uh, famous players and Hall of Famers and, and so does Will and, and Peter went all quarterbacks for the second draft in a row. It's going to be interesting to see what the people gravitate to. If they embrace the Vinatieri or they say, this is crazy, he's got Jerry Rice, you lose. We will put it out now. All of you watching, go and vote. As always, Rough Draft gives you the sweaty palms and the hot reactions from yeah. the viewers. Guys, that was really fun as always. Well drafted, gentlemen.